So let's look at some dysfunctions then of the, of the forebrain. Um, the most common sign that people recognize as being neurological and as a brain disease, and perhaps the only thing I came out of vet school remembering was neurological, was circling. Um, so circling, a sign of um, uh, intracranial dysfunction. And it's, it's, it's a good sign and it's a, it's a bad sign. The good sign is that it tells you, well, you're not normal and you are neurological and you've got some problem inside your head. The bad sign is it doesn't really tell you what the type of disease is, um, as many of these signs don't. And we don't um, get too hooked up also on this dogma that um, the side of the disease is on the side they circle to. Often it will be. So in this dog's case, he's circling to the right and so most commonly the disease is on the right, but it can be on the left, so it can trick us. We've not really met an owner that thinks that uh, if the disease is on the left, it's great, so um, they just want to hear they want to hear a disease hitting the left side of the brain. They're not really bothered about which side it's on, so we shouldn't be that bothered either. Um, what we do know though is it's intracranial. So um, there's also a talk about the tighter the circle, the more uh, helpful it is in terms of whether it's a forebrain or hindbrain, because they can circle with, for with hindbrain dysfunction as well. We don't get too worried about that. Circling is not normal. It's neurological, and um, it's intracranial. Most of the time, if you see nothing else, it's forebrain. And what I mean by nothing else is, if you see a head tilt, then that's going to be a vestibular problem or a hindbrain problem. If you see other cranial nerve pro problems in addition to circling, it's going to be a hindbrain problem. So if you don't really see anything else, then this is likely to be forebrain. It's often compulsive, so they won't stop um, until they get exhausted or they'll just rest and then start again. And sometimes it comes as part of an adversion syndrome, which means that they'll turn their head and neck to one side at the same time as beginning to circle. If we look at this guy, all this dog would do is dig in the garden. Um, and at first, we had to ask the owner what they'd buried there and perhaps what the people who owned the house before had buried there. Perhaps there had been a murder, who knows? Um, and the dog is not nuts, but is an expert sniffer dog. So we have to check, maybe there's something else going on. It's not the dog, he's just responding to something. But um, when we rule that out, we actually think, well, this perhaps compulsive type of activity is not normal. Um, are you a behavioral problem? In which case you might need behavioral modification drugs and some behavioral um, therapy. Um, or do you have a neurological disorder? And sometimes it's really difficult to tell. So that's where we would, as we'll talk about, move on to trying to find other abnormalities that say, oh yes, you have a brain disease, you have other structural signs, proprioceptive deficits, for instance, cranial nerve abnormalities.